welcome back to another video. This is the Mexico travel vlog that I have been so excited to finally share with you guys. We took our flight from Toronto to Cancun and we're spending the next four nights and five days in Mexico for our friend's wedding. We've been to Mexico a few times now, so make sure to check out those videos if you want to see some other resorts that we've been to. But for this trip, we stayed at the Occidental X Caret Hotel. Because we arrived quite early, our room wasn't ready yet, but we got our wristbands and were able to get changed so we could explore the hotel, get some food, and enjoy the sun. This hotel is connected to the X Carat Park, so we did go there a couple years ago in a different video. We didn't get the chance this time around, but this hotel and resort itself is massive. It feels like you're in its own little ecosystem, basically. There's a lot of space, there's a lot of color, and there's a lot of greenery, so you're definitely going to see some different species of animals later in this video. I'm not going to lie, we got lost a few times during this trip, but we found our way to the buffet and grabbed some food. After we grabbed a bite, it was time to head to the pool and we finally got a chance to lay down and enjoy some of the sun. We finally got into the room. This is a quick tour of what it looks like. This is the storage space. Somehow we ended up with two beds, so we're each getting a bed tonight. The guy who came and brought us said that the mini bar is included, which I'm very excited about. This is the TV, the little vanity area. This is the view of the bedroom. Outside, we do have some patio space. That's basically it for our suite. Tell me how it's already 11 o'clock. Well, it's actually well past 11. It's practically 12 now, 11.50. So we got into our room like you guys saw and basically decided to take a little nap. Fell asleep for like two hours. And then next thing you know, my boyfriend woke up and was like, we should probably get some food. Ended up going to the buffet because the buffets are the only places that you don't have to make a reservation. And the other places you basically have to book it well in advance. So we're gonna try to do that tomorrow, I think. But for tonight, I already came up as you can see so that I can get hopefully a solid rest because the travel and everything really took it out of me. And plus the fact that we were just straight to the pool afterwards probably didn't help. And I somehow managed to lose my hat already, which is very tragic because I've had that hat since 2021, I wanna say, when we first went to Mexico. By the way, if you're new here, we do not go out of our way to go to Mexico, but somehow in the last few years, this is my fourth trip. If you wanna see the other resorts I've been to, I will link those vlogs in the description. This resort has been really nice though. I would say it's definitely more family oriented and is also very close to the X Carat Parks themselves, which is also definitely something you can do with families. So just keep that in mind. We've been to a couple adults only locations before. So those ones, again, if you wanna check that out, will be in the description, but it is such a big space and I'm excited to explore more tomorrow, go down to the beach hopefully, and I'll take you guys along for that. But we're gonna call it a night because I am exhausted. The next day we had a nice slow start to the morning before we got ourselves ready to head out for a nice day in the sun, by the pool and beach. One of my favorite parts of being at the resort is just having all of your food and drinks taken care of. I grabbed an iced coffee before we headed down to the breakfast buffet. Omelette bars are probably the best part of the resort for me. So I got myself an omelet and we had ourselves breakfast by the beach. After breakfast, we walked down and got ourselves seated.
I took a little dip, the water was so refreshing, and they also had a bunch of different stereotypical beach activities, like some tug of war. We wandered back to the main area of the resort because I really needed a hat to replace the one that I just lost the other day. And about $70 later, that was a mission accomplished. Luis. If you guys don't know, I love ping pong. I'm not gonna say I'm amazing at it, but it's just something that really brings me joy. such a lovely day just spending time in the sun i definitely got a little bit of color we spent most of the morning at the beach area it's basically like a man-made beach so you can't really swim into the ocean but there's a nice little sandy area and it was very loud i gotta say so we ended up heading back up to the pool and there was a nice quiet calm Pool space. I feel like that's very much my vibe right now. We did come back a day because I got this hat, which is a replacement for the hat that I lost. We're now getting ready for dinner. So the way it works here is you actually only get a certain number of dinner reservations based on how many nights you're staying. So for us, we're here four nights, which equaled two dinner reservations. And you have to book it basically like first thing in the morning. So Trevor made the reservation this morning. So far the food has been good. I mean, nothing groundbreaking, but like the fact that it's included is always nice. I wish they would serve food by the pool because the last resorts that we've been to, if you want to order like a quesadilla or nachos and stuff, they'll bring it up to you by the pool, but I don't think they do that here. I took a shower and we made a pack to make sure we did not take a nap because yesterday we came back and then fell asleep for like two hours unintentionally, mind you, because I feel like when you're just dehydrated and you lay down, it is very, very easy to pass the fuck out. So we decided to come back only when we had the exact amount of time to get ready so that we don't lay down and fall asleep. But I'm gonna finish getting myself ready and then we're gonna head out and hopefully very nice dinner. did not want to get out of bed this morning. I need to tell you something. Oh. I was actually hoping you weren't going to get out of bed. getting ready now for the wedding today is the big day trevor is with the rest of the groomsmen so i get some time to just get myself together today's been such a good day already we went to see the sunrise at the beach and then just hung out by the pool most of the time i've been kind of just taking it easy in fact i'm actually drinking this which is not very mixed but it's actually electrolytes 
I got a pack of them on Amazon, which I'll link in the description, and they've been really good so far. Even if you don't drink a lot, it's good because it's so hot here that you're just gonna get dehydrated no matter what. It's like 30 plus degrees every day. There's nothing to mix this with in the room, so I'm just drinking it with like clumps of electrolytes everywhere. But yeah, I'm almost ready now, I think. I'll show you guys the dress in a second, but I'm just doing some quick makeup. I feel like unless you're part of the wedding party, most everyone else just needs to look presentable for a photo. And then by the end of the night, I'm sure we will not look the same as we did anyways. So we just need a few photos, right? The wedding is also off of the resort, so we're all taking a bus that leaves in about 30 minutes. Luckily, I'm right next to the lobby, or our room is right next to the lobby, so I can just head over. This resort is huge, by the way, like in terms of space to walk, because if your room is like on one side and you need to get somewhere else it'll take you a good 10 minutes so luckily for us we are pretty close to the lobby which is where i think the bus is gonna leave from i also feel like my hair is very underwhelming right now but knowing the heat anything that i do i feel like is gonna end up looking really flat anyways also when i look back at the last couple years at how many weddings that we've been to it's just crazy you know like everybody and their mom getting engaged married and debating on whether to do any eyeshadow. I feel like I might just do something really simple and sparkly. Also, I apologize if you can hear like a fan. I put the big fan on in the room because I just don't want to look any sweatier than I need to before we actually get to the wedding. Really, really quick fit check. This is the dress. It is from Saison. I believe this is from one of their newest collections that they had so kindly gifted me. I just love the color. I think it's perfect for, you know, this type of vibe. I wish my hair was a little more exciting, but the fact that it's 30 plus degrees means that it's not gonna stay in any way, shape or form anyways. But that's the look. I've got some wedge heels, which are the best bet for my feet. I'm also gonna bring this purse. All right, here we go. Okay, I didn't realize, but it's actually kind of gray outside, which I did not expect. But it is Sunday, the day after the wedding. The wedding was beautiful. The venue was absolutely stunning. The location being right next to the beach. Honestly, it was perfect. We are so grateful to have had the chance to come here and celebrate with everybody. We got breakfast this morning at the buffet and I actually came up to do some YouTube stuff, which is a little bit crazy of me, but I needed to get something finished. So the things I do for content but we are ready now and i don't even know why but let's just do a quick ott this swimsuit is i believe from shein and also this is from shein i don't usually shop from there but for bathing attire they have some cute pieces i'm still rocking my saison bag my voice is absolutely shot to hell right now so that's what you're hearing but yeah i my feet are killing me as well i've ended up buying how many pairs of sandals I bought two pairs of flip-flops. We were at the church and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna last in my heels all day. These are the heels that I had worn and they're not bad, but like the top of them kept scratching me. So I literally ran and I bought these flip-flops and then I bought these ones a few days ago because my feet were sore. But then I just realized my Birkenstocks weren't loosened fully, so they are actually way comfier now. But anyways, today is our last full day. We leave here around 5 
tomorrow. So we still have plenty of time tomorrow, except this is our actual full last day. final night final dinner here today was surprisingly gloomy i don't think we saw the forecast before actually going out but it started to downpour a few instances and there were not very many umbrellas so some people got soaked but i would say it has happened at least once every time i've come to mexico that it just absolutely torrential downpours so you never know i guess it was also pretty much overcast for the rest of the time and everyone always says that the overcast days are when the sun is actually stronger but that's also when i forget to put on sunscreen i don't feel anything i don't feel burnt or anything but i don't know i definitely didn't put any sunscreen on until way later in the day when i remembered we got a reservation tonight at the oriental asian restaurant it was very vague what type of asian but i heard they have sushi which sounds good fun fact of all the type of cuisines at resorts i feel like usually every other cuisine except for the mexican food is always better because it's just never really authentic when you get it at the resort you know what i mean i think the weather tomorrow is kind of like it was today i thought that was wrong how to iron a shirt Oh, it is hot. Oh, it's so hot the cat was fogging up. my tripod in case they don't actually cut your wristband when you check out so we can just stay by the pool i think it's also at that time of the trip when we're excited to go home but also not excited to go back to reality so it's like just trying to soak in the last bit of time that we have here 